The Midi Music Company is a music education and talent development charity and we've been running for nearly 25 years. I think that, that from my own experience, from artists here at Midi Music Company who have lost a brother, who's been stabbed, from my family members whose friends have been stabbed, it's like, you're going, hang on, this is, this is, I'm, I don't want it to be normalised. Do you want your parents to come to your funeral? What about your siblings? What about your brothers? Get off the streets, get an education! As a mother, it makes you very sad. Uh, to think that young people are losing their lives. I think we're in this, we're in a day and age where we're kind of, um, moral panic is kicking in. And um, our young people are not feeling safe in Lucian anymore. We need more mentors in the borough. Um, we need, to, as the, you know, the audience in there said, we need to be connecting the dots. I think if a young person is trying to come out of that sort of lifestyle, they need to be going into something you know, fresh and new and exciting, a new a new environment where housing is issued, new education with education issue. Those are our barriers, I would say, working, doing this sort of work. I've had a child who was stabbed and my thoughts were, it's unfortunate that there's not more of a more joined up holistic approach to all the tiny services that are out there, mm -hmm. rather than, oh, we need these many arrests or we need these many mm -hmm. people locked up or what have you, rather than, right, this community, that young person needs a mentor. Well, really, it's going out and speaking to the youth about what actually happens in the courtroom. Because until you're there, you wouldn't know. Uh, and so I want the young people to think about what they're letting themselves in for if they choose to be involved in violent, serious knife crime, gun crime. That it's a whole world that's alien to them and it's a, a world which sometimes you feel is stacked against you. So we just wanted to have a conversation. I don't want to do loads of meetings. I just wanted to have a conversation to see and to hear other people's perception on, on what is happening in terms of youth violence.